have realized that mess has just consumed my life. And it wasn't until I realized that I couldn't breathe in my own home that I started filming myself cleaning time lapse because I wanted to see the satisfaction of my hard work. Um, I, we as a family have gone through a very traumatic two years. It has nothing to do with the pandemic whatsoever. Just, um, I love you. I love you. Just actual real life. So in filming these time-lapse videos, um, I decided that I want to do a whole series of me taking back my house, taking back my life, and taking control of the mess that has been consuming me. Um, part of it was, I think, actual depression, and then there was a small majority of it that was most likely postpartum depression. Um, I've never been diagnosed with either, but um, anyway, this mess has consumed my life. It's taken over my life, and I started cleaning. After I was done cleaning and I watched back what the room looked like in the beginning, I was shocked that we had been living like that. And it really put in perspective for me, it was a hoarder type situation. It wasn't just a mess. And my brain had been so overwhelmed with the mess that I had looked over it for years and just pushed things to the side, pushed things to the side. I mean, our daughter's bedroom had a path to walk into because it was so full of stuff. And the rest of the house is that way also. This is going to be a series where I find myself through getting rid of the mess and I make my house healthy for not only myself but my family and my children. This is real and this is raw and vulnerable and it's very hard for me to share because it is disgusting and it is embarrassing um, and I am choosing to share that and I might get some backlash but this is real life and this is me fixing the mess that I have let marinate in my home. And I'm excited of where I'm gonna be or who I'm gonna be once the mess is gone. So, come along with me. And if you're in a similar type situation, purge with me, declutter with me, take control of the mess with me. Okay, let's go. Good morning, ladies. Who wants to wake up for a surprise? What? Smoothies! I'm not excited. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I ordered these special.
special. Is there any strawberry ones? Yep, who wants one? Okay. <laughs> Holy smokes, are you all right? What is that flavor? So, this flavor is chocolate chocolate chip cream. This flavor is oh. bananas and caramel. And this flavor is strawberry. What's this Ooh. flavor? Ice this is strawberry. This is mommy's iced coffee. Okay, I like this. Okay. Hey, Mom. Thank you. It's a mocha coffee. Yeah. I like strawberry. Ah! I tried yeah, I'm definitely trying the chocolate cream. Yeah, you're definitely trying chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Debbie, say hi. Say hi. Say hi, I'm Debbie. <laughs> Ask him quiet, I'm taking a video. Stop. <laughs> Okay, so spring is in the air. Oh my gosh, it's getting so warm and it smells so good. It's officially keep your windows open weather. So I wanna do spring cleaning today. And although I need a shower, I wanna get all my spring cleaning done while already being dirty because I know I'm gonna sweat. I have so much stuff to go through. I've been sad and it's been lazy. I've been lazy. So, um, the first thing I need to do is straighten up all the rooms, and while I'm straightening up, I'm going to get rid of things. This is what we're working with. Kids clothes, shoes, balloons, I didn't make my bed, the kids threw all their stuff in the bed. Just stuff everywhere. Pure laziness, and it's disgusting. So... <laughs> Let's get to it, freak. Look at how dirty this freaking mirror is. Alright, so my room is all cleaned up and now it looks like this. So I have everything off of the floors. Bed made, everything off of the dressers. This whole floor is cleaned off, which I still have to vacuum. I gathered all the shoes that go downstairs, my bedtime shoes that I wear when I wake up. I have a bag of trash, and I have all of our dirty clothes, and I put the kids' toys in this stroller. This is going to be the hardest part of my healing. The girls' room is where I hold the most embarrassment for the mess that I let marinate in my home. And as I look around at the accumulated, overwhelming piles of clutter, it really feels heavy and deep on my heart that I've let this type of clutter and mess become normalized in my children's minds. Periodically, I will come up here and clean everything out, organize, have the floor cleared, and within days, it'll be right back to disaster struck again. I think it's always made me so over overstimulated on top of feeling depressed and overwhelmed just with life in general and I would look past the mess. I would give up deciding that it will just be messy instead of being proactive and teaching my children to clean up, to take pride in their space and their things. And I think that's why this will be the hardest part of my healing journey because I also now have to heal my children from learning to find calm in the chaos that has accumulated around them. I now need to teach them the value of living in a clear space. Watching these videos, you can see how much freedom is revealed as the room opens up and becomes free from clutter. 
I can already see a difference in my children, which has been the most rewarding part of this healing journey so far. The healing journey will be hard. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be something I struggle with a lot. It's going to have a lot of relearning and reprogramming as we heal, as I heal. fourth time sweeping out just in this corner I have to go through all this Hard. Mm -hmm.